Okay, massive epic simile here. And one of the most important in terms of understanding whether Odysseus is dynamic or static, whether he changes or not, whether he comes to some new understanding or not. Click pause, read the passage carefully, and consider taking some notes on it before clicking play again. Maybe even check out this moment's context. It's from late in book eight. Okay, I see you're back. So before he weeps here, Odysseus has demanded that the harper sing about the plundering of Troy, a city described in the opening sentence of the book as hallowed, which means sacred. After hearing of the plundering of Troy, Odysseus cries. He melts into tears. We can understand that he's lost his entire crew and is sad about that. Who wouldn't be? Take a closer look, though. As a woman weeps, so from Odysseus' eyes ran tears. What kind of tears? Tears of heartbreak. His heart is broken. In this epic simile, Odysseus is being compared to a woman. Now, if you're enlightened, you'll say a simile should compare two unlike things and that men and women aren't enough unlike one another to qualify. You'd be right. So then look closer. What kind of woman is he weeping like? This woman who is weeping is losing her husband, a man who fell in battle. He's trying to save his home and his children from doom. She sees him go down, dying, gasping for breath, while she clings for dear life. I have to pause here. This is a powerful moment, don't you think? Can't you just see the scene and picture her torment? But keep the simile in mind. The description is of her and of her loss, but she and her loss are somehow connected to Odysseus, right? Well, who are the victors? Who is digging spear butts into her back and shoulders? Who's about to drag her off into bondage to create future torment? And what kind of torment? Heartbreaking torment. The reappearance of heartbreak. Well, think, who won the Trojan War? Odysseus and his men were the victors. Odysseus and his men plundered. Odysseus and his men dragged people into bondage for future torment. Odysseus and his men, as victors, caused heartbreak. Odysseus here is weeping not only like a woman, in and of itself not much of a simile, but weeping as a Trojan woman. I would say it is in her Trojan identity that Homer punctuates the epic with this simile. If so, then what does the simile suggest about Odysseus' understanding of what he has done? What does it say about his understanding of the side belonging to the victim rather than the victor? Here, the tears of heartbreak run from his eyes now. 